Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Antonello Chessa. I work for uh, a regional center for planning of autonomous region of Sardinia. Thank you very much for our Poland partners for hosting us today. And I will keep some elements that uh, came out from Simon's presentation, uh, just in order to give you a general overview of uh, this ERDF regional guarantee found for SMEs that we adopted in uh, Sardinia uh, in the last two years. Uh, First of all, l l let me state this. As autonomous region, inside our uh, duties and competencies, we have, uh, we have the credit access to companies. And, and so uh, one of the problems that we face in Sardinia is that uh, the economic structure of our companies is very weak. Uh, we are in Sardinia, uh, we have a population of 1,700,000 people and we have roughly uh, 150,000 companies uh, uh, and most of them, I would say 92% are very, very small companies. I mean, this amount uh, is regards all the companies operating in every sector, from the primary sector to the industry and to the services. This means that about 92, 93% are micro companies with less than five uh, people working there. And 95% uh, of the Sardinian companies are working for the regional market. Uh, this means that with this structure, th these companies have a very difficult access to credit channels. And uh, Th this was the problem that the decision maker at political level uh, just uh, put us just to try to uh, new ways, new channels to facilitate the access to uh, financial market, to credit market for our companies. And so the, the, the fund aims to facilitate the access to credit of SMEs operating in Sardinia, allowing co-guarantee, counter-guarantee, and direct guarantees on financial transactions issued by banks that support a consortium fee. Uh, let me say some words about consortium fee. They are um, a, a guarantor that usually is linked with some entrepreneurship association, and, and they work uh, guarantee their, the, 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 the loans of the associate with the banks. About uh, the resources uh, all, uh, we are using on the fund, we are to uh, 243.2 million euros. Uh, let me say an another detail. We are managing authority of ERDF fund <laughs> for Sardinia region. And so we have the possibility under the competitiveness line uh, to, 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 to use this money just in order to boost the competitiveness of our companies. Uh, the big part of this amount comes from uh, uh, EU funds. We have some five millions for regional resources, uh, five million from national. Uh, how, how does this work? Um, uh, we, we are the managing authority of the fund, but for the technical aspects and the technicalities of, uh, for example, the procedures, uh, the evaluation of uh, the applications. Uh, we work with the Spheres uh, Limited, that is in-house holding company for the Autonomous Region of Sardinia that operates in financial sector. And so it's an in-house company that, uh, according to our instructions, uh, is, um, is, is working, the application that's come out from, 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 from the companies. But be, be aware that this application don't go directly, I mean, from the companies to our uh, financial spheres, but they go uh, through two channels. We'll, we'll see them later in, in, in the next slide. The SME's beneficiaries must have their headquarters in the territory of uh, the region of Sardinia. 
they shall be regular with the payments for uh, relating to tax and social security contributions. And we just set up a classifications of the companies uh, under three categories. We have the new co, they are existing no more than few years uh, from the date of application. We have startup companies operating from three to five years and consolidated companies uh, that are active longer than five years. This classification, this classification is very important because uh, depending of, 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 of the nature of the company, there are different criteria evaluation of the application. Uh, the eligible sectors are trade, agricultural, but, but we have some problems even as with primary sector and we are trying to solve it because uh, with the cons we don't have a consortia freedom that is accredited with the system for the primary sector. Uh, and the craft industry construction, tourism and services. Later we'll figure out some numbers about the participation of these different companies coming from different sectors to the industry. How does this work? Uh, when I was preparing this presentation, I was, I was thinking about uh, showing to you which were the main difficulties that we had in structuring the, the, the instrument. And uh, uh, it took a, a, a bit of time just in order to create the network with the consortium FIDI and with the banks. Uh, but, uh, and so, uh, although the regional law uh, just uh, created the instrument in 2009, the instrument became operative by September 2010. And so we have, uh, let's say, a story of two years, roughly, uh, for, for uh, just to see how the instrument worked. Uh, and so we have, uh, uh, let's say, two different channels. With consortium FIDI, we have uh, the possibility for SMEs to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to request for uh, counter guarantee or core guarantee, while the direct guarantee are uh, at the moment uh, uh, exclusively for, for, for the bank sectors. Uh, before operating uh, with this network, uh, we evaluate uh, the request for accreditation by CONFIDI and, and every, every single consortium FIDI must add some, uh, let's say, um, some fulfillments just in order to be, just, just in order to operate with the, with the instrument. And since March 2012, the instrument of direct guarantee is operational. Uh, just because we have to, we have to uh, make a general agreement with the, in, international, uh, with the National Association of Banking System just in order to let the, the banking, the, the, single, the single banks operate with the instrument. Uh, up to now we have agreements with nine banks operating in Sardinia. Uh, which kind of transactions? Uh, let, let me get back to, to, to this point because in order to transfer this, uh, uh, this instrument in, uh, in, uh, in, in your, let's say, uh, in your region or in your country, uh, the, the networking with these actors is, is a very crucial point. Uh, uh, and I think that it, it is because, I mean, the consortium fee and the banks, they have direct relationships with the companies. Uh, which kind of transactions are eligible for, uh, for having access to, to the fund? Uh, we have uh, two possibilities. We have new loans and refinancing of, of previous loans. For new loans, we have financial transactions of any kind with maximum duration 18 months, um, usually to, to, to give uh, wider access uh, with additional resources to existing credit lines. And we have financial transactions aimed at investment innovation programs. Uh, I will anticipate about some figures about what, what, is, what came out up to now. And uh, uh, the, the average amount of resources requested for financial transaction is more or less 100,000 euro for, for, for SMEs. While the, 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 the amount of the resources requested for investment is five times than that, and so 500,000 euros. 
uh, about refinancing but with for consolidation of short term debt or renegotiation funding for rate reduction. Uh, we, we just put some uh, two different thresholds, thresholds for, uh, for, the, for the access. We are under the minimis regime. Uh, we have 1. million euro for SMEs. Under stated regime, 2.5 million euro for SMEs. But very few companies just uh, asked for this amount. Very few companies uh, for this amount. Uh, what about uh, what came out until now? Up to now, we received uh, uh, this uh, 1,175 requests of assistance, but most of them were counter guaranteed, uh, about roughly 95%. This means that uh, the guarantee, the request for guarantees coming from consortium FIDI uh, were, were the big part of that. Uh, these numbers for dire direct guarantees about 60% is so low because this, the instrument of direct guarantee, direct guarantee uh, uh, as I showed you, uh, just came into work in, in the last few months. This, uh, mm, out of the uh, 137 requests set for eligibility, mm -hmm. uh, uh, under the 30, about 80 percent of that were successful, uh, 1,332, and uh, two, 262 were related to investment. And but but the amount requested for investments and liquidity are more or less the same. Uh, at the moment, the guarantees granted by the fund amount 75 million euro and they are equally divided for investment and for requesting liquidity. Um, but they generated a credit lines for a total of two, uh, uh, 200, uh, 240 million euro. Uh, we were trying, let's say, to uh, increase the use of the fund by uh, making specific activities with the consortium PD or with the banks, uh, just coaching, the, 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 just training uh, um, people working in the bank just in order to consider and to know better and to strengthen the use of, of the fund. Uh, we, were, uh, uh, we, we adopted a communication plan, but it is, uh, let's say, uh, in, in the last few months of 2012. And, uh, one, and, and, we, and we created an internet-based system support, uh, but that didn't work so well. And so this is one of the weak points that we'll, we'll, have to, uh, we'll have to improve. Uh, this is the general overview of the instrument and uh, is the first time that Sardinia uh, is adopting this instrument but up to now we have left, uh, we just use one third of the resources of the instrument and so uh, we expect uh, for example like Simon was saying this is a time of crisis and so when you have crisis I mean uh, the request for guarantees uh, increases. And, uh, um, and, it, it, and so we don't have, uh, we don't have let's say, uh, the, the outcomes of uh, th these first two years of use of the instrument, but uh, I'm quite confident that in another workshop in, during the, the, the DFAS project, we'll, we'll have even some figures just to show which were the results of the instruments. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> if you have any questions. Oh, please consider uh, this point. Uh, uh, for the technical aspects, I have some list of the evaluation criteria that were adopted. But if you're interested in dealing with a financial company with spheres, uh, we are at total disposal for providing the context uh, just in order to get deeper into the solution of the problem that, uh, and the use of this fund. Thank you.